Good afternoon and welcome to another exciting, <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll try and make it exciting for you. It's uh, the art of learning small town business and we're happy to be here with you again today. And we're going to continue our um, uh, business plan, uh, how to write a business plan. And uh, we're on part three of 10. If you missed any of the previous ones, they're all in the description below so uh, head down there and uh, as we've said before you don't necessarily have to uh, watch them in any kind of particular order but uh, we have uh, we've segmented it into various uh, groups uh, to make it easier for you to uh, uh, pick them out and uh, work on the ones that you want when you want and whatever so today we're going to work on part three of our business plan, and this is the objective statement or business goals, uh, objective statement or business goals. And uh, we talked a little bit about this in the in the previous um, uh, video about um, uh, in the business description, because we're going to have we have some goals in there as well. But uh, what we wanted to do today is kind of expand on that a little bit, because this is going to be probably the toughest part of your business plan to write uh, because you're brand new. Uh, it's hard to sit down and say, okay, I've got my goals are very specific and spelled out. I know exactly what I want to do. In many cases, uh, that's not always the case that, you know, when you say, well, what's your first business goal? You might go to stay in business. Well, <laughs> that's certainly a good one. And we encourage that, but, uh, sitting down and really thinking through this process because uh, in your business plan, you're going to take this business plan maybe to a bank. Uh, you may take it to an investor or uh, people you know who uh, might be willing to invest in your business. And you're going to need to spell out pretty specifically to convince them that you have a chance at success in this business. And so that's what we want to that's what we're going to talk about today. And the, one of the things we talked about before was using SMART goals, SMART goals. Now those are specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're realistic, and they have a time limit. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to run through an example of how to do that uh, as we go through this, uh, this plan. But we want to make sure that you're, you're uh, this is probably the easiest way to set goals is make them specific, make them measurable, make them achievable, make them realistic or relevant to your business and set a time limit on when that goal will be accomplished. So those are the things that we want to that we want to stress uh, as we go through this today. So where we're going to start is we need to define goals and objectives, first of all. Uh, I'm going to use a football analogy. Uh, the goal, of course, is uh, of a football game is to win the game. That's the that's the goal. And the objectives are the plays we're going to use based on where we are on the field, the time on the clock, uh, the score, uh, what defense uh, is against us, uh, what offense is against us, uh, whatever. All of these, uh, we have a game plan before we go into the game based on what we know about the opposition. And that's all we're going to do right here is set goals and objectives that you can use in your small business and make it successful. So the first thing to do is let's lay out your business ideas. And this is what I would suggest is getting some, uh, as we see right here, get some uh, post-it notes, and just start listing your ideas and then what goes under financials, what goes under marketing, what goes under advertising, what goes under customers, what goes under uh, storefront or layout of your business or uh, whatever it is. We need to lay out those small business ideas so that you have a starting point as to what's, what is really important and what's second, what's third whatever as we uh, as we go along so laying out your business is is really important now i talked about uh how to use smart goals now um 
let's say, for example, since you're a brand new business, uh, you are probably thinking about not only starting a, uh, a storefront or maybe it's a home-based business or whatever kind of business it is, uh, it may have a website uh, that you want to put with it. So we can set up smart goals to create a website. So our specific goal would be we are going to uh, we are going to create a website uh, that uh, uh, details uh, all of the aspects of our uh, business startup. Okay. Um, and as objectives, we would have, we're going to have an about us page. We're going to have a, um, uh, a page of our products and services. We're going to have a page where people can order things. Uh, we're going to have a page of tips and helpful uh, articles and things like that. So those would be some of the things that we're going to, uh, that we're going to lay out there and we've made them specific. We're going to, we're going to, uh, what the page is going to be. Uh, we have to make the page measurable. So we know that it's going to, um, it's going to contain these parts. It's got to be uh, attainable. Can we attain it with the expertise that we currently have? If we don't, then we jump on YouTube and we watch a bunch of YouTubes on how to create a business plan or how to create a website and using whatever software might be available or whatever's free out there. So there's plenty of ways that you can learn to do this if you don't know how to do it. Next, it's got to be uh, it's got to be realistic or relevant to our business. Now, obviously, a business uh, or a, a business website would be relevant to our business because it's going to be about our business. So and we have to have a time limit. We will have this website up and running by this date. So that's an idea of how how to do that and get it uh, get it going. So so that's how we're going to create small town goals and objective is is doing it a little bit at a time as uh, as you go along. Now, uh, I would suggest in your business plan that you have maybe three to five goals in your business plan to start with. Um, how you're going to uh, handle various parts of the business. Uh, goal number one might be the website and we'll have the objectives in there. But keep in mind the uh, SMART, the SMART um, uh, goals uh, to keep that uh, on track. And the strategies that we're going to use, what are they going to be? What strategies are we going to use to uh, make this all flow together? So uh, easily, e more easily said than done, <laughs> as I said earlier, this is not, this is, this is going to be a tough part of the business plan for you to write. It really is it's because there's so many unknowns, uh, that you have in your business at the moment. So let's, um, you know, that's why I say lay out your plan, lay out your plan, uh, to make this, um, to make this happen. So that's where the, the starting point. Uh, begin. So uh, next we want to uh, uh, let's talk about some business goals that are common in business plans that you might have. And since you're a brand new business, some of these uh, may not be uh, maybe uh, give you an idea of how hard it is to define these things. The first one is define your ideal customer experience. Define your ideal customer experience. How is uh, how, what what do you want? What kind of customer experience do you want your customer to have when they walk in that front door or when they contact you online or were, you know, or, or uh, you go to their place of business with your product or service? What do you want to have happen with the customer? Next, we'll talk about you want to build your small business brand. So that may be a, a, a goal that you want to do. And the objectives for building the brand, maybe we'll do, we'll advertise here, we'll sponsor an event, we'll uh, put a, put everything on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever. And we'll go through all of those, all of those social medias to kind of help build our brand and get our name out there to, uh, to the folks. Next, we might uh, define sources of income. How are we going to, what are the products and services that we're going to provide here? And what are the goals for those products and services? And how are they going to uh, produce income as we go along? 
So uh, that's by all means, um, you know, uh, a very important part of of this uh, of this uh, situation here. So, and last but not least, uh, obviously, um, setting these is not easy. Uh, I've said that many times. So <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to sugarcoat that to tell you that it's going to be it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for you to sit down and do these, but you got to start. That's that's the main part. You know, showing up is 99% of business success. It's just getting out of the getting out of the starting gate and writing something on a post-it note, sticking it on a board and standing back and looking at it, looking at it and say, "Yeah, I like that. That's going to work." And that's that's the inspiration that you need to have and that's what these goals and objectives are for that it will help you to really look at your business from a from the outside. You know, I know you got a business plan in your head. Uh, we all do. And we've all got uh, ideas in our head. We've all got these uh, you know, dreams in our head. But making bringing those to reality, uh, we really need to sit down and really focus on how are you going to make that happen? And that's why we're here. All right, for more helpful business information, uh, see Learning a Small Town Business, our uh, co companion website. And of course, if uh, you're new here, we hope that you will uh, subscribe. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> we hope you'll subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like our channel, and leave a comment. What would you like for us to talk about? If you have a objective uh, goal or a, a goal or objective you'd like for us to comment on or get back to you on we'll be more than happy to uh, to do that so uh, yeah subscribe like us ring the notification bell uh, we're here every week with new videos and uh, next week we will continue on with the uh, marketing or the uh, business plan and we'll go into the next uh, segment of that which will be uh, we're going to talk about the business management and structure. This is very important because this is should you be incorporated or not. Uh, how are you going to protect your assets? How are you going to protect your family property, your home, all of that? So we're going to go into all of that in the next video. As I mentioned before, if you missed any of the previous videos, they're all in the description down below. So uh, we hope you will check those out and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.